I just need to give you a quick little warning before we get started on this video today. It is mostly me talking, not a lot of cute animals, not a lot of working, talking about the projects that we need to get done on the farm. Now let's start the video. Good morning, beginning farmer friends. It is not nice. Let's just put it that way. It's 34 degrees. It's cold. I'm cold. It's damp. It's wet. It is a good day to work inside. I've got a ton going on today. Just run around things that need to get done. But I wanted to put out something really quick for you. So I thought the other day I had a video about all the repairs that I need to do. We talked about things on the 4430. We talked about the M5 over there. We talked about the grinder mixer. We talked about the hay mower, all that good stuff. Today I want to go around and talk about the infrastructure that needs to be fixed. But first let's go Let's go check on these lambs and this calf. When it's not sunny outside, it's kind of dark in here. Everybody seems to be enjoying the little shed area that I have for the sheep. The calf is doing great. She is still, oh wait, we can't call it the calf anymore. We've got to call her by her name. Daisy is doing great. She is still loving it in here. The set of twins here, they're doing good. The set of twins here, they're doing good. And then there's a bunch of sheep just running around in here just enjoying the ability to be out of the mud. What I did over here was I just kind of staked this gate so that it couldn't open and swing open all the way. And as you can see, the sheep can run in and out. They are kind of being a little bit annoying in here. The other day I gave them some alfalfa pellets in here. And now anytime I come outside, they all run in here and they go a little crazy because they want some alfalfa pellets, I guess. This opening right here on the shed, this is one of my, should we do something about it? question. When we built this, I enclosed the west end of the building and I left the east end of the building open and it just kind of followed the peak. So it wouldn't be very easy to put a sliding door or anything on that. We'd have to do a little bit of construction and framing. But I'm starting to wonder if I do want this closed because in the winter snow blows in, in the summer rain blows in. It would be nice if I had a place that was completely dry I'm starting to question whether or not that was a good idea. I'm not going to put that on the infrastructure list of things that need to get done right away, but it's in my questionable thoughts. What do you guys think about that? All right, next thing. Now, the order that I'm telling you these projects, that's not the order they need to get done, but at some point, maybe later in the summer, early fall, this fence right here needs to get fixed. And you think, why does this fence need to get fixed? Well, because fence posts are not supposed to be at 45 degree angles. This fence right here is a high tensile electric fence. I would like to replace it with a woven wire electric fence combination. Not going to electrify the woven wire, but I want to have some electric inside the woven wire. The idea is to get a good physical barrier in here so that we can train animals, sheep or pigs or whatever it is in this winter lot corral area. So this fence, it needs to get fixed. While we're in the winter lot, let me show you the next thing that's kind of not on the list that needs to be done right away, but it's one of those hopes and dreams that I have. As we were loading that last calf, I noticed that this fence post is not really a fence post anymore. It's a piece of wood rotten underground and a broken off piece of wood rotten above ground. Guess what? Same thing for this fence post right here. Same thing for this fence post right here. And same thing for this fence post right here. This corral was a good idea that was not executed well. I did not buy good enough fence posts. I did not use good enough fence posts. This corral needs to be remade with something other than just these cattle panels. It needs something solid, something better. You know, we can still have cattle panels, but we need some boards in front of them. We need a board on top so that it can't be pushed down. And then I would like to have a real true round pin here. Even if it's homemade, something to be able to swing a gate through and crowd the animals. That would be incredible. And it wouldn't be great just for cattle. It would be great for sheep as well. So I don't know. It's on the list. It's not a priority. While I'm at it, there's a fence right there between the yard and the winter lot. It needs to be fixed too. Of course, priority number one after this chicken wagon gets built is this shed. And let me break it down for you because there's a lot that needs to happen in here and it needs to happen in pieces so that it gets done well. The first thing that needs to happen is this wall right here needs to be made into a wall. 
we need to put some sort of insulation in it we need to put some sort of vapor barrier something on the back side and something on this side so that we can bring in our freezer and camp it right here on the floor that's why we need to get the wall done because once the freezer's in we won't be able to get to the wall then we can move to the next thing which is the overhead doors we need to put the overhead doors in one overhead door right here it's going to be a smaller one one big massive 16 foot overhead door here and then another smaller overhead door where that tarp is the reason that the doors come after putting in the freezer is because i want to have something to block the weather out come summer because we often get some southern rain some southern wind and so in the summer we'll have the doors we can block that off the freezer will be back there and then we can finish the wall between the lean-to and the shed does that seem like a lot it seems like a lot that freezer back there that just needs to get moved into its place it's it's all part of the combination we do have a little fence area right here that i would like to finish it goes from here over to the main fence at the yard and from here up to the edge of the hoop house that will just allow us to keep the cattle and the sheep out of that hoop house area unless we want to put them there basically what i need to do to that is finish that little corner post right there and then string some wire up i think hang a gate nothing too major after the freezer and the shed area get buttoned up a little bit this is kind of a next important thing this is our fence that has become part of our ravine if you were following along back in the fall you saw me put these hay bales in i've got a few more bales that i am going to bring in and put in and i'm also going to bring a lot of compost i would rather put it on the field but i want to experiment with putting it in here and then i also watched a greg judy video i wish i could link to it but i don't know how to do that where he put some bales in without the net wrap on and he kind of just let the cows come and eat and stomp on it and kind of push them into the ground i would like to try that not only in this ravine but also in this ravine so i'm gonna have to figure out how to adjust that post where to move it obviously it needs to come up somewhere up here and then connect in to this line of fence right here it is not like needing to be done right this second it needs to be done obviously but not right this second because i can graze the cattle in plenty of different spaces so that I won't get them to right there quite yet. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I would like to put a fence right here, all the way up the hill to the road. That way we would have three divided paddocks. It would just make it easier for rotating the animals. More years ago than I would like to admit, I started putting a fence in the back of this little wood pocket and pasture pocket right here and it never got finished. Part of the reason it never got finished is I never had a way to get the pigs in here. So what I need to do now is I need to put a gate at this wood post right here, which means I'm gonna have to put some braces in, put a gate in. Then this area right here will be for feeding the pigs, have a little corral for the pigs. And then there's about, I don't know, it's two and a half or three acres of pasture wood lot that I had sectioned off in this section. That's kind of the next area that I would like to clean. What other projects would be fun? Well, it would be great to be able to put up a farrowing greenhouse right here next to our hoop house. I don't know when that's going to happen. I do know this. I need to keep remembering that much like an elephant, you build a farm one bite at a time. I would love to hear your suggestions. If you have them, put them in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, all of those things. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, number three.